A uh, little show of sportsmanship, but yeah, this looks a bit suspicious, and I was right. A right hand. Well, he should have shook his hand. He deserved that. That's how you shake hands and mean it. The collar and elbow tie up in a battle for control here. Yeah, and Michael, it's so important to come out of this on top because you can do so many things to your opponent from this position. Daniel Bryan making a move, controlling the tempo. That's a first. What a move. Definitely sets a tone for the evening. I like it. King, what are your thoughts on Chris Jericho? I can't wait to see how this one plays out, Michael. Both of these guys look like they refuse to lose here tonight. Jericho likes to take credit for being the great innovator of the WWE. You listen to him talk, and you'd think he invented the first suplex. Daniel Bryan heading to the top turnbuckle. That drop kick takes him down. Submission holds are a huge part of Daniel Bryan's game. Whether it's his yes lock or a guillotine choke or something else, Daniel can push his opponent to the breaking point faster than just about anyone else out there. He's starting to show signs of fatigue, but he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. And at this point, it looks to me like this match is as even as it could get. It's a good point, John. And I'd say this match is about as even as it could get at this point. That's perfectly placed in how you land the big strike. And there he goes, crashing to the floor. You know, Michael, some of Daniel Bryan's submission moves are virtually unbreakable. Just ask Dean Ambrose or Randy Orton or Rey Mysterio. Ask any of them. They've oh. all been pushed to the breaking point by Dan. Sweeping an opponent under the carpet. Oh, oh boy, he needs to clear the cobwebs after that one. What's Jericho got to do to win at this point? He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. You got that right, Michael. This is where we find out exactly what this guy's made of. Well, it looks to me like his ego is finally being put in check here tonight. And if you ask me, it's about time. You know, for a performer who's earned a reputation as being a vegetarian superstar, it's pretty ironic that one of Daniel Bryan's best finishing moves is the cattle mutilation. But let me tell you, Daniel uses that hold to devastating effect. I've seen him bend opponents in half with it. Daniel Bryan here. Nice take down to Daniel. Oh, submission! The hold's locked in! Watch it! And he powers out. And that's why the adage holds true. There's a first time for everything. I think you're right. I believe that's the first time he's ever attempted this. You know, the pressure the cattle mutilation finisher puts on the shoulder blades is absolutely incredible. Daniel will fold you up like a taco shell. Your shoulders are just practically touching each other, and the pain just becomes too much to bear. The cattle mutilations a merciless hold. We may have discovered his favorite move. You think? He seems to use it often enough. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Yeah, I wonder what the view's like from up there. Heads up! Sometimes when you go high risk, you crash and burn. And sometimes you knock it out of the park. And that was a perfect example. 
capable of hitting it big. When this guy's on, look out. He's making a statement here with this attack. And another one. I like this. It's called repetitive, Cole. It works. the cover. Can he do it? Think he's got him. Boy, he just got laid out. Uh, Daniel Bryan looking to put this one away. This is how he won the championship. Oh, boy. That right knee. Man, right in the face. Yeah, and he's not looking too good now. It hurts just watching it again. Ouch. Here he goes for the win. Let's One. do this. Two. Going all the way up. That's a long way up. Hey, from the top rope. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously rung there. Oh, a reversal. Oh. Oh, the Jericho. Chris Jericho's on a roll on his belly, looking for the walls of Jericho. Can he get it locked in? John, it's locked in the walls of Jericho from Chris Jericho. You can't breathe down there. There's no escaping. The Watch it. What strength fighting his way out. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Chris Jericho. And there it is again. I like it. If it works, keep on doing it. He's on his heels. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. And Michael, if what we've seen so far is any indication of what's to come, I fully expect him to go for that finishing again. And the cover for the win. And again, the mind games are played. I mean, it's definitely a first tonight. This is great. This guy will try anything. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. Look out! Tremendous action in this match. <laughs> this is insane. Could this be it? I think so. Can he fight out? Whoa! And he fights his way out. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Well, he was able to reverse it and get out of that. Playing my games. Yeah. A little intimidation there. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. That move at this juncture of the match makes the intention unmistakable to be little. Trying to humiliate your opponent. There's no place for that here. Oh, that'll knock the wind out of you. Oh, right to the gut. Wow, Daniel Bryan timed that perfectly. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. 
for what you wish for. It can get real ugly outside the ring. And these guys are real ugly. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Daniel Bryan has taken a beating. He may not be able to hang in here much longer. He might just have nothing left to give, guys. Hold on. You have to think one of these times he goes for his finisher, it'll actually finish this thing, right? Oh, wow. Who'd have thought this match would be as evenly contested as it is? Three. Look out! Sometimes when you go high risk, you crash and burn. Oh, look out! <laughs> oh, he got him. How does he do that? Two. Getting back into the Three. ring now. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. Inside the ring now. He anticipated that move perfectly. some money in my pocket. Take a look at that again. It could be over here. Yeah, maybe. Two, three. And you could put this singles match in the books. The shoulders were down for three, and this one's in the books. Great effort from both these guys, Cole. I'm willing to bet this isn't the last time we see them square off. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight.